Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to capture the packet of ICMP and show you how the private IP and public IP translation happens. So first we will see the static net. So in this topology, I've taken one PC that is 172.16 private IP and here is my ISP computer that is 1.1.1.100. Now I'll try to ping from my static PC to ISP PC. I'll just capture the packet of ICMP only. I'll capture ICMP here and then ping it. So once I ping, here you will be able to see the source IP is 172.16.10.10, correct? Yes. Now, I'll forward the packet. I'll send it to the ISP and I'll get it back. If you capture it here, again, you will be able to see only 172.16.10.10 and this packet also 72.16.10.10. Now, we are going to apply the translation on this particular router. So this is connected on interface gig 0 slash 0. I will say interface gig 0 slash 0 IP NAT inside and interface gig 0 slash 2 that is IP NAT outside. After this, I am going to apply the NAT configuration that is IP NAT inside source static that is 172.16.10.10 should be translated to 1.1.1. Consider 150. Okay. Now I've applied the translation. Go to the simulation part. Now try to capture the packet. Okay. Here the source IP will become 172.16. That is private IP. Now I will forward it to the router. And if you capture it here, it will be for translated to 1.1.1.50. That means it has translated from private to public. Again, I will send it to ISP. So ISP will send it back to you. And if you click on this packet, here you will be able to see destination IP is 1.1.1.50. Now again, retranslated to public to private. So this is called your static NAT, right? So this is what happens when you capture a packet and see the private and public IP translation. Stay tuned for more upcoming interesting networking videos. Thank you.